Hello, this is Grinstar, and today I'm going to be talking about Trash 2. Trash 2 is a plugin I've been using for probably a couple years now. Before I was making videos, and when I was getting starting to get back into uh, making music, uh, Trash has different buttons down here. It has uh, a filter where you can filter in your music, pre um, anything in here. Uh, it, this Trash element is nothing more than several different types of distortion. So if you want drive distortion, faulty distortion, fuzz, heavy, retro, or saturation, they got it. Uh, within here, they got different forms of it. You can get packs to add more models. You can mess around with how it distorts, um, making it bipolar or, or uh, uni uh, unipolar. Uh, mess with the stuff. Most of these things I don't mess around with. Um, you can do filtering within this, and if I'm not mistaken, you can also... Uh, use a uh, um, multi-stage so that you uh, um, you could do it on different bands. Um, then you got another post filter. Then you got what what they call convolve, which is nothing more than an IR or um, sort of a, a reverb type ish, and see what type your sound reflects against with different things. Again, lots of different options to um, use IRs, uh, then dynamics, which is your compressor and your gating, so that you can cut sounds that are low and, and cut sounds that are high. And then delay, which uh, you can use different different types of delay. Um, several different options to mess around with, uh, a whole load of these. I don't mess with these at all because usually it just sounds good. Um, you got the history of the things that you're doing. And then this graph thing will allow you to say that, hey, I want my post filter to be all the way at the end, or I want it after the, the compressor, or I want it after my IR, or same thing with any of the uh, any of these options down here. You can you can rearrange and change them. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, one of the coolest things that I love using is this preset browser. Uh, it's got a ton of them. It's got a lot of wacky presets uh, that changes your your sound. Um, in a lot of different ways. Um, let me let me let me make sure I got uh, some sort of. This can get crazy, so you probably need a limiter to make sure that you're not you're not blasting your ears. Let me just do a default threshold. Okay, so basically what I have going right now is I have this polysynth. This I think it's a square wave. Uh, I'm sorry, so, uh, saw wave. Mm. Nice and boring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna quote unquote trash it. As you can tell, there's a lot of different ways that uh, the presets and stuff like that. Some of my favorites that come, I think, come from the edge. There's a there's a couple of underwater type of ones, and then I think this is the wrong set. Uh, classic. No. 
Either that or got YouTube eyes. Try experimental. There we go, experimental. That one's great for gaming or, or spaceship sounds. Turn a saw wave into a, a guitar sound or a distorted guitar sound. All kinds of all kinds of different stuff to and this is just a cell wave. You can imagine what it could do. And like I said, that's just the default sound. If if uh uh, imagine what I could do with uh, any of the other type of presets. Pretty cool. This can actually change the, the whole tonal structure of the sound and or the timbre or whatever. Just give it a whole different characteristic, uh, depending on the of course the original sound. How much? I did it down right crazy.
well, pretty cool. And the best thing is, is that you can actually find it on Pluggy Boutique most of the time for like ten dollars. Uh, with with packs, you just have to be a little bit patient. And uh, this thing's a steal. Uh, I got it. I got like a couple of copies of it because it it was. And they they give this thing away every now and then. Um, it, it is a very awesome plugin. Um, for for the price that what it does, uh, and I used it a lot. I, I still use it. Uh, you will you you probably have seen a lot of my videos with this thing. Um, among all the plugins I use, this one is the one I always choose when I want to go crazy on a sound. Uh, because it it just it, it, the the things are really good. It, it's like the glitch machines, um, stuff that that they they. You can get some really crazy results with it, but it, it's, So, uh, a whole lot of different sounds without a whole lot of investment. Um, this thing, this thing could do a lot, uh, and changing the sound around. And, uh, um, but, uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to play around with Trash 2 and talk about it for a bit on the, on this video. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's technically one of my favorite pl plugins of all time. Um, hands down. It is. It has got to be the the one that I go to time and time again, every time when I need uh need to to take a sound and and just see how crazy I can get with it with uh just a little bit of um uh distortion, a little bit of distortion, a little bit of IR, and how the IRs work um for the the impulse responses and uh, gating and a great creative gating and and th and uh, compression. As well as delay. I mean, this has this has like five of the things you put together. Can you do this in in uh, Bitwig by itself and and uh, Reason? Sure, <laughs> sure. Um, but it's just yeah, like for ten bucks. This is really hands down easy, uh, easy stuff to to sit there and just uh, try to uh, find stuff that you normally wouldn't think about when you're when when you're uh, trying to come up with something. Um, or come up with a different type of sound uh, is is what I'm trying to get. But uh, at any rate, I appreciate you listening. If you if you uh, are are here this far, I appreciate the the support, and I will see you in the next video.